Okay. Just, um, start when you're ready. Yeah. Well, I'm delighted to be able to tell you a little bit about the latest member of our family. This magnificent violoncello made in 1865 for the Count Sheremetev. And it was made as part of a quartet of instruments. Um, each one bears the Sheremetev family crest, which can still be seen on the Sheremetev palace gates and uh, on, the, on the porticos and so on, the buildings that belong to the, that great Russian family that all had to flee, of course, during the revolution. And at that time, the cello went with the rest of its, uh, the, with its companion instruments to America and until the end of last year lived in America uh, with various uh, owners, mostly collectors. It wasn't played um, regularly on the concert platform at all uh, until now, since I've the chance to play on it. Um, it is unusual uh, of the own cellos because um, not only has it not been antiqued in the same way as he often did to make uh, with a famous dark patch here known as a beard um, to make it look older, he used absolutely choice and exciting wood, fabulous flame which is seen boldly on the ribs and the front which is just uh, top class and of course the back which I showed again unfortunately I can't play with the back showing always but um, it's fun to to um, to have that also the the Latin here says um, it, it, the translation is God looks after everything which is reassuring when you're about to tackle a difficult passage uh, <laughs> of the cello repertoire so anyway um, what is unusual about this cello sound-wise is that it is extremely deep and dark, uh, almost thick texture, 